whole thing, walk out into the desert, like, we're gonna go hunting for experience points. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and start. Um, when last we left you guys, you were having a discussion over tactics. Um, unfortunately, uh, so Lander and your, um, uh, and I forgot the cleric's name, um, your oh, newfound compatriots seem to be, or Genric, are, uh, seem to be in an argument, argument and have elected to stay behind. They're still on the map because I want them to, because it's so much of a pain, but, um, the, uh, yeah, so, but you guys are just outside of your temple, uh, or not temple, outside of the, um, your home base, basically, and now you You've just defeated it, or you've scared away an era on Elemental who has sworn vengeance. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to do? Well, we were going to rest up a bit, I think. Oh, yeah, um, I consider you guys, I think, took a full long, long rest after that mass. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, in that time, too, we would have, at least Whistler would have told his people to start, you know, barring of windows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, preparing. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we're about to be attacked by a bunch of airline Yeah. Uh, during this, Zashi would go to the Copper Coral and talk to Don Lon about Shep's apprenticeship. Um. So yeah, that's going to cost you extra money and your standard. It's going to cost you half, um, half gold, so five silver a day for his. Yep. Period. And uh, he encourages you to be his apprentice. Yes. <laughs> um, it's yeah. More. Yeah, it, it, it's not it, the apprenticeship isn't probably a great word for it. It's more student. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's kind of it, it, it's some bullshit. <laughs> it's it's a, a, somebody needs a higher persuasion check yeah <laughs> something like that <clears throat> chef was pretty adamant that he wanted to learn from don Lund before don Lund dies though so then it All means right. that chef gets to take the alchemist class when that chef ah uh, that would be convenient yeah mechanically um, yeah so following morning get up stretch Go talk to Scout. Which area of our section do you guys want to try to clear out today? And are those guys still arguing? They're still arguing, aren't they? <laughs> they uh, they're they actually pretty hungover at this point. They, they resigned to the bar to have their argument. And um, now are they're stopped arguing. They're passed out. They're probably not going to be useful this morning. Yeah. I was just tapping them on the cheek. I think they're out. And it, did I start drawing something on them? So there's that. <laughs> I laugh at whatever you're drawing. What were they arguing about? Um, primarily, they were arguing about uh, Loki in general. Fenric is getting really kind of pissed. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, let's just leave them to stew and figure that out themselves. Mm -hmm. Do we think that uh, we're feeling fighting fit enough to try and take on that worm? Because that's something we know what to expect to it to be. Zashi kind of gives no. Brutus like this. <laughs> At which point, <laughs> Scout. Uh, worm? What worm? Uh, this big, you know the sandworms that eat the dust stuff? Yes. Uh, there's one of those that we know of in our area. Hmm. And we just ran away last time. Can I put in my resignation letter now? <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that, Scout? I mean, the only other people in this area would be you going to Savra. Mm. I don't follow Savra. Exactly. It wasn't that big a worm anyway. Fine, we'll do a different section. <laughs> We're also just going to keep harping on it because he doesn't like that he just ran away from a fight. Um. Okay, so where have and haven't we Tucker, gone? you're muted. 
what sides of this area go into the city versus towards the desert? Okay, um, so you guys came in from the north uh, west. Um, basically, everywhere north is like a overhang cliff. Um, like the way Malice is built is kind of like a bowl into the, into the river um, city. So as you get deeper and deeper into the old city, you're, you're going to be heading south and slightly east, but primarily just south. Oh, so the worms are deeper into the city? That's scary. Good thing. <laughs> um, so we don't want to go in that direction then. Or do we? Were you wanting to go towards the desert or towards the city? I want to go away from the worms. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you do know that there are worms in the desert too. Um, yeah, that's be where they'd be from mostly, right? Correct. Um, you didn't really see well because you didn't even really see the worm at all. It was whisper that I don't know, was flat that got kind of ate it. Um, you you did. No, I should have had you roll that when it came up. Uh, don't worry about it. But. <laughs> Uh -oh. I will say there was something weird about said worm, but you don't, you're don't you not really from here, so you don't really know what it was. I like that it was really big. Yeah. yeah well, well, I only saw it from above. Mm -hmm. I basically yeah. saw the gaping mouth, and that was you it. You saw it from the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, actually, it was inside for a while before it actually died, because it was kind of <laughs> flapping around there. It's big as softness. So you would have seen like some weird like cancerous polyps actually down there. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did send flat though to scout before the air elemental attack. So what would he have saw? Like I sent him to scout high. Oh, um, yeah. Looking so for. Something. For the most part, the entire northeast is basically a giant ruin. Um, like, in ter like everything is a little maze-like just from de uh, debris, but you can kind of actually climb over it. You kind of notice that. Uh, you do notice up, and I know you guys can all see the map because yeah, I allowed you to do it. Um, towards the northeast, there seems to be an encampment of those weird dry clean and an encampment of gnolls that seem, they're not hostile to each other, but you can definitely tell that they're keeping a distance from each other. Um, they're not doing a very good job. You know, <laughs> you know, Scotty, you can keep global illumination on and still have line of sight. Yeah, I know. It, it was The reason I turned it off was because you guys were having issues dancing around the maze-like structure of, of everything. And we're kind of in a spot where, honestly, Flap can see everything anyways. Yeah. Um, so the, uh, and then to the south, um, to the southeast, you see a, a park that is just covered in really thick, almost cable-like spider webs. Oh. Well, we wanted spiders, and we got the wrong ones, so where's that? That's to the southwest. Sorry, I think I said southeast, but it's to the yeah. southwest. Back where you originally ran into the uh, Mercury Dragon. Oh. Those would be the multi-legged things Resplendent was talking about. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, that was the question I missed. I didn't know we ran into a Resplendent Dragon. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Well, would you guys like to try to get some more spiders? Maybe we can... Hopefully they're not face spiders. Maybe we can use these ones for ranching and their silk will actually be what someone wants. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor Sheena. <laughs> it's poor Brutus. I don't mind spiders, so he now hates all insects, including spiders. Spider ranching. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, I'm super stoked for it. I love it. <laughs> uh, my main concern is Resplendent described it as there being a lot of them. And there are not a lot of us. <laughs> Unless we could maybe just draw one or two out, I would be worried about going into a den of them. Well, well, well this is how Whistler explains it. Okay. He makes an illusion of a spider, just, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's in his hand, so it's like tarantula size when he shows you. Right. 
Um, and then he points on Zashi's map where that is. And that's all he says. Because <laughs> oh, that's all he can. Yeah. Fine. Then, then he wouldn't... I mean, he still wouldn't be happy about it, but yeah, sure, let's go squish some spiders. Okay. Brutus does still have two of the Molotov cocktails. Yes. And now I have special magic caps that unfortunately will give away my position at all times. <laughs> I, I, about that. I will never be stealthy again because I will be glowing. You but can't before. get double disadvantage in, in 5e. So. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so they're just normal disadvantaged. I, so unless it, you're going by Chris Perkins rules. And then I will, if you start doing some really stupid stuff, then yes, I will start giving you double and triple disadvantage. I tiptoe on my hooves to get advantage of cancer. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing then. All right. Yes, I, I would negate your dis your stealth disadvantage for that, but then you would also get disadvantage on all acrobatics checks and really to do anything else. Damn it. Okay, so only in emergencies. Got it. All right, who wants the lead or direct me? I will pull your guys' tokens down there um, if Even you want me to, sure. to the nearest room to where you're not going to be in danger. Yeah. That would be what nice. order do we want to be moving in? Well, well oddly, he's well, scouting. Well, the one who knows where it is. Okay. So you've oh. got to be in front, up into the room. Okay. I can follow right behind as the meat shield, if we want. What were you saying about Scout? Uh, Scout's probably... Probably next to Zashi, but kind of slightly behind. In the out. middle, but not the last person. <laughs> yeah. That's when you get picked off. Um, do you want Flap in front of you there, Whistler? Um, act, so it's it's open here, right? Like, that's why I was able to see him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I want... I actually want Flap just kind of flying over the top and then landing and then flying back over the top and then landing, but not landing in the room or okay. on those walls because obviously there's spiders that can just walk right Yeah, there. like it's it's a really thick web. Like we're, we're talking pretty much obscured terrain once you're inside of there. Um, it, it crosses between the uh, ruins. You can actually see, like this stuff is unbelievably strong. You actually see it like holding some rather large boulders aloft. You can see why the uh, dwarves actually like this stuff. Ooh. Are any of those held aloft boulders conveniently over any spiders? In such a monster hunter -y way? Flap, that make a perception check. I, I want to know if Flap is large enough to hold a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> now I also want to know that. I do too. <laughs> What's flat strength score? Uh, wait. What? First of all, what am I? I'm rolling a perception for flat, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, flat his strength two. score is a two. No, he cannot hold a Molotov cocktail. Damn it! He is a tiny creature, which means that he can carry. Let's see. A medium-sized creature with two pounds would have a maximum carry weight of, if strength of two, would have a maximum carry weight of 30 pounds. So 15, well, no, he can carry a Molotov cocktail. We'll, we'll go by the rules, because it would be, because a small creature would have half of that, which would be 15 pounds, and then seven and a half. Numbers. Numbers. And he got a 20 in perception. Okay, yes. There, so, not currently. Oh. Except for that he probably couldn't carry it. Right. While he's flying. Correct. Oh, you'd have to find a way to attach it or something, and then it... Uh... Yeah, and then I'd have to recast flat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You're, you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, you were saying with his perception check. Okay. Uh, well, I would like to draw them, but right now it has me issues. Give me a second. So there might not be any over them now, but something to keep an eye out 
for a possibility. Not okay. that Brutus would know any of this. Okay, so I went ahead and it is in purple and light blue because I was messing around with my own stuff, but um, there the rocks are currently drawn on the object layer. Okay. Currently they are not none of them are sitting underneath a rock, but you now see the one the rocks that are held aloft. Okay. Well, how does Flap uh, communicate whatever he wants to communicate? Or rather, how do you? Because you can just see through his eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And you also notice that there's six giant spiders. Okay. Yeah, so I, I probably wouldn't, actually. None of them are under it, so. Yeah. I probably wouldn't even mention the boulders. Okay. okay. Um... Shall we try sneaking in? How tall are these walls? Right I, I would totally do that, though, to let you know how many spiders there are. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yeah, it's fine. I love it. Sure, not rolling initiative at all. <laughs> What uh are are we are we sneaking? I think that is that really what we want to do. Uh, sure, let's try to sneak in. We'll take out the big ones. Save the egg sex. Make sure they're all big ones. Oh, six. Okay. Um let me get stealth checks from everybody if that's what you guys are doing. I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, it's a horrible <laughs> idea. I will make an illusion of a color. A collar? Yeah. These are the ones we want to ranch. Yeah. Uh oh. So we don't want to kill them. Well, we want Do you want to knock them out? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't guarantee any kind of control. <laughs> also, if so, no one's. All right. I guess I'm just doing that. My horns are on. Yeah, I have so them. You, you got an 11. I, did, did anyone who's trying to sneak forward you need to kill their. Okay, the 19 was Scout. Okay. I got an 11. Oh, okay. I got a 3! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Sneaking successful. I am a beacon. Yes, I love it. I am a glowing target. Saying insert Fedemy. Okay, um, go ahead and give me initiative checks and, um, Put yourself I, in I the by power. the way, do have mage armor already cast. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, give me initiative checks, and then I need everybody to go ahead, and um, the tunnel leading here is is, um, is right here. Now, you guys can try to scramble over the walls here if you would like to not approach through the tunnel, but you're going to need athletic checks. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, How tall was the walls? Eh, they're about seven feet. Oh, I can scale that. I'll do that. Also, my can, initiative. Can we just throw the Molotov cocktails over the ledge? I can throw all of you over. The ledge. Well, oh, we please could, don't. <laughs> okay, we could throw the Molotov cocktails over, but if we're trying to branch these spiders, we're going to need to at least find the egg sacs and the Molotov cocktail would probably burn them. I'm not sure if that's going to be a real option once we get yeah. <laughs> there. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, oh, we're already in initiative. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, yeah. Did you roll for scout yeah. there, Becca? I did. The 13 is scout. The five is Zashi. And this. Okay. So uh, they definitely hear you approach. The only one who's actually got under the passive perception was. Um, Brutus, because Brutus. So this one will go. Let me see Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. So they're gonna send one scout out to to look at what's going on. Scrambles over the wall. <laughs> Yay! Let's burn this one. Sees we don't need all of them around, and we'll attack that first person that came up to. Who's that? That was me. I uh -huh. <laughs> Jeez. Terrible. Um, it'll make a bite attack against you. Uh -huh. Actually, no, it won't. Um, when it scrambles over the wall, it actually moves. It actually stops here and 
spits a web at you. Natural 20 hits you, I'm pretty sure. Um, I need you to... Uh, you are now restrained. There's a web shoots out and, like, grapples on you. You also have, while you are restrained, vulnerability to fire, poison, and... Oh, sorry. The web. Oh, no, sorry, that's the web has it. Never mind. But, yeah, you are now restrained. Um, the rest of them don't go, so it would be your turn, actually, Storm. Hooray, can I... Web, it... Yeah. It's fairly new, so it's not as strong as kind of a more braided stuff that's holding rocks a lot. And you think with some amount of effort, you might be able to break through it. But, yeah, you are... I make that effort. Okay. <laughs> At, uh, so, go ahead and make a strength check for me, please. This is going to be your action. This is going to be terrible. I believe in you. Go, Storm, go. Uh, you make it. The DC was 12, so you're Great. no longer strength. You do hear this, this spider make this weird screaming sound, or like clicking oh, sound. Um, I, so I still have my move, right? Yeah. I move away. <laughs> okay. Tactical retreat. Yeah. Everyone be prepared for that. I don't think anyone else has a has an 18, so that's the next spider. All right. We'll move here over the wall. We'll do the same thing to scout. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure an eight misses, so... Correct. And then... The next spider will actually move here and not do anything in the hole. And then it is now... Who, somebody had a 13. Uh, uh, Scout did. Scout. Yeah. All right. So Scout is going to use the longbow mm -hmm. to attack this one. Okay. Eleven. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. Nope. And, and then Z and uh, we'll actually back up. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. Scout's not super stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of wise. Knows that she doesn't want to get up close and personal with that thing right now. Okay. I'll move. Um, what's the next one? Uh, wow, you guys' initiative really sucks. Hey. Um, <laughs> Mine did it. <laughs> Yours was actually perfect. Uh, Whistler, it's your turn. Okay. Who's that? Who's Who? that? Who? <laughs> oh, that's me, Zashi. Okay. Um. And then Storm is. Cotton webs, right? No, no, he broke three. He broke right. three? Yeah. I'm right there. Okay. Um, I will just try to. Actually, yeah. Do do I think these spiders are intelligent? Make a nature check. Usually when you're asked to make a nature check, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is they are more intelligent than your average spider. In fact, they are twice as intelligent. Your average spider having an intelligence of one. Of one. <laughs> they have intelligence of two. two. <laughs> okay. Um, I will try to levitate the one that um, grabbed Storm. Okay. Um, that but if they're it, above 500 pounds, it's not going to work. They're not. Okay. I was going to say, they're, if they're that, what? No. Okay, um, so it's a constitution save. Okay. 
14. Yeah, makes it. Okay. Um, and that would bring us to one more who will move here, but can't get over the wall. And now we finally get to um, Brutus. Uh, yay! I have a, I have a, a quick question. So oh, actually, light... technically, I guess Flap should go before Brutus, right? That's fine. Yeah, let Flap go. What's Flap going to do? Yeah, change? Flap's not doing anything. He's still okay. Just... There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, any chance the light on my horns can be like um, the light of Arendelle from from Lord of the Rings, where sure. it like the tall spiders? No. Oh no, no, it can't do that. Damn. Okay. It's like, even just a temporary blind would be. I cool. thought you were going for the aesthetic. No, it has no mechanical benefit other than it. I'll still take the aesthetics. Okay. Um, okay, so one's levitating. I'm assuming levitating to a degree that I no, can't. No, it, it made it stay. Yeah, I failed. Oh, it did. Uh, oh God. Yeah, okay. Get it. I'm a smart spider. I'm gonna. Can I? Five, ten, fifty. Yay! I'm going to charge it and try and gore it. Okay. I regret this, but I mean. <laughs> Oh well. Ah. I will cry if Brutus dies. Everyone needs to know this now. 15 hits. Yay! You're able to gore it with your horns. My glowing horns. It takes a crap ton of damage. It's not happy. Yay! I'll follow it up with my scimitar. Okay. <gasps> but yeah, that definitely hits. Yes! So that's all the dice, right? So it'd be 2d6 and 2d4? Yep. Okay. Oops, that's not 12. Not 12. Wishful thinking. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, you, you, you squish it under your scimitar. What are the d4s that are part of your rolling? That yeah. was... Uh, where was it? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> no, where'd it go? Um, bum, bum, bum. Damn it. That's not it. I know I have it for a reason. I can't remember where it is on my sheet, though. I don't remember if it was part of the two weapon or if it was part of the Minotaur thing. It might be part of the Minotaur. I don't know what that is. Yep. I haven't really worried about it too much, but... Um... <laughs> no, I was just curious. Um, okay. Please, please continue. Okay, that's... Is that your turn? Yes. Move uh, bonus act. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, it, that spider is very, very dead. Woo! Go, Brutus! Woo! Is that 72 XP? No. <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> Everyone, really quick. This spider will cr crawl over and will make an attack. Uh, actually, goes no, here nothing. and attacks Brutus. Boo. Why? Por qué? And he will try to bite you. Rude. 20 to hit? I believe, yes. Wait, yes. Damn it, because I have 20. Okay. Um, and so you take uh, 8 points of piercing damage and 7 points of poison damage, and then I need you to make a constitution, constitution. saving throw. I make a lot of those in this game. There's, there's lots of constitution. <laughs> I get poisoned a lot, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you it's make a con save, the poison will be halved, right? Nope. <laughs> I just will be um, poisoned. According to the thing underneath the bite, it does. <laughs> well, I got a nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so you were... Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, yeah. You were poisoned. Um, Woo. Oh, actually, that only happens when you're at zero hit points. So you, you do take the full poison damage. So, yeah, you took 50, uh, 15 points of damage. And now we're back at the top of the round. That spitter is dead. That would normally go. And Good. so then it's Storm's turn. Isn't it whispers? On which one? Um, <laughs> <That one. laughs> I'm sorry, wasn't Storm at the top of the fifth round? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then where does Zashi go? Oh, sorry, Zashi. Sorry, I, I skipped your character. Sorry. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, Rude. Um, I'll go ahead and step here and go ahead and attack with my rapier. Okay. That's the dead one, isn't it? No, that would. I already eliminated the dead one's body. The, this one, that one actually crawled over its old, old mate and it attacked. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's I miss. Okay. That is my turn. <laughs> okay. Now it's Storm's turn. 
dissonant whispers. Okay. <laughs> I should just accept they're always going to fail. Um, <laughs> they're really scared. So they t he takes 11 points and he runs away. Yeah. He, he whispers really loud and it's very <laughs> dissonant. <laughs> okay, he runs back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot make that save. Uh, <laughs> this one goes. Five, seven, seven, I'll take it. Right there, and we'll bite at the Minotaur. I'm going to use my reaction to hit him with uh, cutting words. So whatever you make on the roll, I get to roll a d6 and minus that. OK, you might want to wait until after I roll it, because he rolled an 8. So you probably don't. I have to do it before the, the... Before I declare the uh, um, result, not before I you do it after I roll, before I declare whether or not right. it hits or not. So yeah, you don't have to. I appreciate that, though. Thank you. The only one that you have to declare before the roll is if you have court to roll. All right. Um. Um. Sorry, it's just a thing. Okay. Um. Da, 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 that brings us to Scout. Okay, Scout. Uh, neither of these uh, spiders have been damaged yet, right? Correct. Okay, Scout will go ahead and fire at that one. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit? That definitely hits. Okay, and it should be a 1d8 plus 3. For 7 points of damage. Okay. It takes a spe uh, an arrow to its hide. It's not happy, but it doesn't look particularly hurt. Um, uh, then this one will go... By uh, we'll go here and we'll attack Zashi. Doesn't like attacking Zashi because Zashi is poison, but uh, natural 20. Yeah, that one hits. Ignore the poison damage on this. Mm -hmm. uh, 9 plus 5 piercing, so 14 points of piercing damage. 9 plus 5, really? Wow. 14. Because mm -hmm. it was a natural 20, it was a critical hit. Right, got it. <clears throat> um, that brings us to Whistler. Okay. Um, I am going to make an illusion over here. Well, no. How this is? How tall is this wall? Seven feet tall. Seven feet tall. Um. Okay. So I'm going to, and how tall is this wall? Which wall? I didn't see your ping. Right there. Mm, probably, it's slightly taller. It's kind of on a slope. I'll say 12 feet tall at that point. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay, well then, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I will just hit this guy with a chill touch. Okay. Fifteen hits for one point of damage. One point of necro. <laughs> yeah. And then I will back up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what's the secondary effect of chill touch? I always forget. It can't heal. Okay. Um, which is why I always forget, because it rarely comes up. Okay. Now it's... Uh, this one. We'll make another attack against our friend Brutus. Nine to hit. Nope. Yes. Um, and then it is actually Bruce's turn. Okay. Um, are either of the two 
I'm in contact with, have either of them been injured? Or yes, is this so the one that's... The, this one has been injured. Oh, it's that one. This, okay. this one has not. This one has okay. an arrow stuck in him and took a glancing blow from your um, Kenku companion. Okay. I will attack the one to the left of me then. Okay. I will start with goring him. Shining, obviously. <laughs> since, I don't, since I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was my fighter archetype, my martial archetype that gave me the D4, but I don't remember, so I just won't roll it. No, okay. no, please. I mean, what is your martial I, archetype? I was really just curious. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> That's the problem. Is since the the D and D Beyond didn't have uh, Minotaur as an option, I had to kind of bluff everything so i'm just unsure so i'm just going to roll the 2d8 and we'll ignore the d4 okay. I, I think you might actually have the brawler archetype which means that you only get the d4 on your first attack so you still get it on this attack but you don't okay. get it on both attacks that makes more sense Are, oh, i'll take it do you have your character assigned to the campaign because scott's got the ravnica book so you should have minotaur i have not in roll 20. i just oh. I haven't gotten around to putting it in there i just have it on yeah. D and D Beyond because it was easier to access while I was working on it okay. at the anyway. time. Okay. Anyway, that damage. Uh, yeah, it's it's obliterated in sticky spider ichor. Then I'll spin around and use my uh, what is it for fighters where I get to attack twice or get two actions? Action That's surge. I get one use. I'm gonna yeah. use it now to try and gore and then follow up with. The scimitar on the okay, other one. So you don't get your D4s on this one, if I'm remembering yeah. what your archetype okay. is. So That's you, fine. you only get the D4 on your first attack. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I you love really it. hate spiders. I oh. really hate spiders. That's the canon, is I'm so furious that we're fighting giant spiders. Okay. Well, still, that's fine. Well, you, if it's still a natural twenty, so that so you, you roll another D eight. Oh god damn it! I thought I changed it. Shush, computer! I know what I'm doing. No, that's not. I can type. I promise. <laughs> there okay. we go. So that's better. Okay. It's still not enough to kill it outright. That's fine. But... Now I'm following up with the scimitar. Which does it? Yes. I feel so useful. You hate spiders so much. I really hate spiders. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I hate um, spiders. It's, it's very dangerous. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes. Okay. This is like a dream. <laughs> um, and that would bring us to these two spiders. Yeah, I think it's that first one. They are avoid. It looks like they are intentionally avoiding Brutus at this point. <laughs> like Brutus, you're in the wrong area. You're supposed to be in front of me. I was. <laughs> They're just really big. Um, okay. and these two who have not used their web will go ahead and shoot. One will shoot a web at Scout. The other one will shoot a web at Whistler. Uh oh. So against, uh, we'll go Whistler first. 16 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And against Scout. Misses. Misses. Oh. So, Whistler, you are restrained. Um, DC 12 strength check to get out of it on your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would bring us to Zashi. Okay. So, since they're out of the webbing area, Zashi is going to throw a Molotov cocktail right here on top of this spider. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit. New hit. Okay, now it, you said it was going to be Alchemist Fire, so let me look it up. That. It's a splash damage thing. Each of them make dexterity saving throws or gets set on fire. <clears throat> and I think you said... Which 1d4 damage. Right, 1d4 damage. You got it. That one is on fire. And that one is not. <clears throat> All right. Well, I rolled a one. <laughs> okay, both can take one damage. Uh, but... This one is on fire, which means he takes 1d4 points of damage each turn until he gets put out. Cool. 
I'll be right back. Okay. I figured out what it is, I believe. Um, I think I took Brawler because it's my my unarmed attacks, which would be my gore, mm -hmm. is 1d8 plus either my strength or dex mod. And I picked my strength, but since I've boosted, so I fixed it. I've fixed it now. It's okay. supposed to be 1d8 plus 5 when I do my horns. And that's it. And then I get a bonus on attack of opportunities if it's with my horns. Okay. So huh. Got it. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. That was really bugging me. Is that oh. archetype UA or? Um, I don't know. What was the archetype? Sorry. Brawler. Brawler. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. it was the unarmed, which was my horns. I just accidentally had it copied into my scimitar as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a UA. Um, yes. Uh, Is that the one that became the brute later? Yeah. Ah, there you go. Um, okay, so who, did, who does that bring us to? Um, Storm? Yeah, Storm. All right, I'm going to hit them with uh, sleep at second level. Okay, go ahead and roll. What is the radius on sleep? 20 feet. Okay. You can do it. Right. 31 hit points. Okay, this one's asleep. So oh, that brings us to. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, reverse math! <laughs> <laughs> 22. Uh, this one and this one fall asleep. This one. Okay, so the one that's still awake is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to move <laughs> to this side. Okay. Um, and so I sleep. Uh, Whistler. Um, yeah, I'll just try to break out of bonds. Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, no, that's right. Yeah, Whistler. Yeah. You do it. Like the you still have your movement. That was your action. But you still have your movement. <laughs> <laughs> what a brave group we have. Yeah. Hey, we know our role in the party. Hey, I can't cast dissonant whispers yet. So. <laughs> You'll get there. I believe in you. We have experts to teach you the ways. <laughs> okay, uh, Becca, uh, you're getting yeah. an attack of opportunity as the spider moves away from you and goes to attack Scout because I'm a mean, mean DM. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember where Scout is in the initiative order. I miss. I think Scout had a 13. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it is actually, yeah. Because um, I kind of screwed up. But the. Uh, well, if Scout goes first, I can roll that before. Oh well, no, this spider would have gone actually before Whistler. I I, I screwed up on it. I want spider to fly. Okay. It, it doesn't really. But right. Thirteen Miss to hit. Misses. Okay, now it's Scout's turn. Okay, should I roll the D four for it being on fire? Yes. For it being in Quigo. One again. <laughs> All right. It's a surprisingly fire resistant spider. It right. also has to make a deck. Well, no, because it used this action to, because it has to use an action to put itself out. So, yeah, it just takes fire damage. All right. Really pissed off. Scout's going to go ahead and attack with short sword 12. Uh, that misses. Bonus action um, for her second short sword. Okay. That 22. Hits. All right. That's one. D6 plus three. Six points of damage. Yeah, okay. And she's not going to get out of melee. Actually, will she? Will she? Yeah, she will. So that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The spider gets an opportunity attack. Okay. Twenty two to hit? Yeah, that hits. Oh no. Oh scout. Uh, seven and four, so eleven points of damage total. 
<clears throat> Are you sure about the save? Uh, no, make the da- saving throw. Sorry. Make the saving throw. It might be nine. But... I believe in you, Scout. 1d20 plus 5. Because you have Twenty-three. Okay, so it takes nine points of damage. Okay, Scout is still up. <laughs> I thought it only took a saving when it went down. The way I read it, it no. The way I'm reading it, Becca is right. It's it must make a DC on and on a fail. Uh, it takes two d8 poison damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful save. If the poison damage reduces the target to zero hit points, ah, that's cool. when it becomes poisoned. It takes poison damage, but it, it becomes does become poisoned. Yeah. Right. It's a very it, it's a it's worded weirdly. Yeah. But anyways, so is Scout still up? Yay, Scout! I would have been very sad. Oh, I would have too. <laughs> if, if he wouldn't have died. He would have immediately gotten stabilized. But. Yeah, she yeah. would have stabilized, she but would have stabilized. she would have been unconscious. Yeah, okay. Um, That brings us then to... The Whistler's already gone. These two spiders are asleep. That brings us to Brutus. Hey, guys. What do we want to do with the sleeping ones? Um... Like, how long will they stay asleep? One I'll minute. Look over. Unless one you minute. mess with them. I just yell, I'm just, one minute! <laughs> Alright, then I'll charge the one that is currently on fire. Okay. And I'll gore it with my beautiful horns. Okay. Normally I wouldn't do this for an unarmed attack, but also after you complete this, I want you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh, why? Because, it, because it's an unarmed attack and you're touching something that's on fire. You know, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Damn. <laughs> so I'm sure that misses. Uh, yeah, that misses. You don't have to make the deck save, though, because you missed. Yay, but I'm going to follow it up by trying to stab it. Okay. Because I'm sad I missed. With my scimitar. Oh, My luck has run out. <laughs> I tried. But now if it tries to run away, I'll get opportunity. Yeah. At least. And Zashi. Okay. I will come up here and attempt to help Brutus... Oh, I should have scooted up. Oh, well. Yeah, it's all good. And Zashi misses again. <laughs> I'm both nervous about Failed. hitting the thing that's on fire. Yeah, that's it's a little, a little disconcerting. <laughs> Just punch it. Storm. Silent. Uh, let's see here. What am I going to do? Whisper at it. <laughs> I'm about and to. Sleep isn't a concentration <laughs> spell, right? So like. You no. Know. So I can cast. I'm going to hit it with the dissonant whispers. Okay. See it run away. Whistler, take note. Hey! <laughs> it makes it, but it takes half of the. Yeah, I'm just like again. So four points. This has been a pretty resilient spider compared to. Yeah, bro. It is. It's um, making up for the others I've squashed. Okay, this one knows that it can't actually get past you, Brutus, so it will make an attack against you, even though it really doesn't know what it's going 23 to hit. Ugh, that hits. Stop it! Storm wants to try to... Yes, I'm cutting words. Yay! Cut words This works. Six! That works. <laughs> yes! I love what you, What do you Storm. say to distract the spider enough that it... My best friend. Brutus is new best uh, friend. What do I say? In the back and just shout shit at spiders. Yeah, I'm not sure what spiders find offensive. Okay. Uh, call Maybe. it Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. That's all I've got. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is... That's his turn. And that brings us then to Whistler. Okay. Um, I am. I'm going to. I'm just going to move right up here. Um, cause I can see how much, how, how hurt, um, our null friend is. And I'm going to stand up right here and try to guard the null friend. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
It's it now the no friend's turn. And um, she'll go back to her longbow. Okay. And I, I, I am, like, holding my action if it comes close to attack it with my crappy little knife. The, uh, it's bad arrow. She pulls it out of her quiver. Mm-hmm. Oh, I probably should have fixed that fletching. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say, it's just the fletching. Uh, Brutus. Guess what I'm gonna do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, gore. Mm-hmm. Smash his face with my face. hey Alright, and now that I've fixed the damage... Mm-hmm. Oh, boop. It is looking really hurt. Do you want the dexterity save now or after the second attack? After the second attack. Okay, because then scimitar. That hits. Uh, you literally can't. It's impossible to not do enough damage. Okay, then I definitely um. slice its face not off in half, like right down the center. Okay. Just really like butter, and I enjoy okay. it. Brutus is just covered in spider ichor and goo. Wait, let's see if I'm on fire. Oh, yeah, I do need to know if you're on fire. Probably with my luck. And is now on fire. fire. <laughs> yeah. I'm on All right. fire. I'll, I'll help. help. It, it, it's right. actually kind of like it, it, Brutus slices down and then, like, he, with the glowing horns, and now his fur is on fire. It, it, he's he looks kind of demonic. Like, hell yeah, I love it. Yeah, Sasha I, will help put Brutus out. I just walk over with my canteen and splash it on him. <laughs> Brutus is a badass. And then I do have a net. Um, shall we wrap these two spiders up and make cages for them? Can we make cages for these spiders? I, <laughs> I, I think spiders. these are, are going to be much easier to cage than the phase spiders are. Do we need? Can to... we do it in less than a minute? <laughs> Can we just? Ooh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's already been. All right, so we kill these you... ones, and we'll get the eggs. Make cages for the babies. You're not entire. Okay. Is, is Whistler I... gesturing, pointing one? Okay, we we need okay. to. Would we need to? For breeding purposes, yeah. Can you gender these? I, <laughs> I don't know, Spider. Let's just go look underneath. <laughs> just look underneath. What's going on? Give me a nature check. Sure. Okay. Uh-oh. Nature so, check. Quick just decision. Thinking. We all going to, like, circle around one, stab it, or are we going to try to wrap it up? We don't have much time. Whistler, um, if, so you're not really all that familiar with the giant spiders, but however you are pretty sure the these are females not from because you look at anything but because giants the females tend to be really big the males tend to be like human size did we kill all the males already (laughs) no generally in the breeding process they eat them yes yeah Uh, we definitely don't need both i will kill one taking the eggs yeah okay i'm 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 right in front of this one i am poised what for to stab through it's an auto crit, so I'm just gonna eliminate what the one in front of you. Mm-hmm. All right, so are we netting this one? Sure. Oops. Give me a. <laughs> Somebody give me a sleight of hand intelligence check for oh, binding okay. this one. <laughs> Not it. Oh, um, I'd be good at that. Okay. Yeah, you come over here. I'll protect. You. Can. <laughs> Can I assist? So, yes, in you have advantage as Zashi is helping. I'm cheerleading again in the background, just moral support. I'll just sit there and whisper to the spider. It's like, it's okay. Shh. <laughs> just let it happen. Good little spider. Oh. But I wasn't. <laughs> okay. I'm poised to strike. If it wakes up. Um, it, okay, so DC nine. It wakes when it wakes up. It Uh-oh. will struggle against its bonds. Mm-hmm. Can I try and knock it out again? Like and just rolls a four and is actually makes itself more tangled into the ropes. It was not <laughs> good knots, but it's kind of like you know when you're kind of un- trying to untangle a power cord and you're just like oh god yeah making it worse yeah. Oh, ah. 
It actually like is wiggling, wiggling, and falls over on his back, and is yeah. like caught in whatever you get tired of. And then that. I can try and punch it unconscious again. Seriously, I could just try and knock it out. Like that's the thing I can deliberately do, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. You, you... Actually, give me a nature check. Let's see if you know how to knock a spider one. unconscious without it. squishing it. <laughs> that was for gendering this booter. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a plus one. Eh? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know how to knock a spider. I, it was a DC five. I was not. I just, I just okay. wanted to see if you rolled just a natural case. one on the thing. <laughs> Fair. Oh, okay, so in somebody's equipment, capture giant spider, I guess. All right. Yeah. I am going ahead and putting it down. Giant. <laughs> we will tensors disc that because I don't think it'll fit in our pocket. Yeah. Uh, that's that's just kind of like giving up thinking. That's not. You gotta have faith. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, that was that like was Monkey smart. Island, where it all goes into his pants, regardless of what it is. <laughs> yes. Everybody get three hundred experience points. How many? Yeah, yeah three hundred. Three hundred. Thank you. Is that enough for me to level two? No, it is not. Damn it. You should be at level two already. I'm at level three, but I want to get to level four. <laughs> awesome. I'm, I'm very, I'm 625 XP away now. Yeah, okay. So I'm getting there. So what do you guys want to yeah. do now? Uh, investigate. Storm and, yeah, climb over the wall. Yeah, investigate the nest for egg sacs and then get our followers to help us start collecting this spider silk to sell. Okay, investigation check, survival check, and, um, yeah. All right. And while this is happening, if you want, you guys can take a short rest. But... Yeah, I'll do that. In this, I'll wait till we get off here first. Uh, Storm, Joshi, you find nothing of really value. Storm, you managed to find an, a single egg sack. sack. I'm just holding it above my head. Um, <laughs> now, you're pretty aware that the egg sack probably holds a hundred of these things. I'm going to be a father. <laughs> 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 touch any of them. I refuse to touch the. I'm gonna be my friends. Perfect. Uh-uh. I have to tame them. I want, I want nothing to nothing to do with no eggs, no hatching. Yeah, and, we know um, you're the spider stomper. You guys actually. So we, as you as you get your followers to start collecting the um, the webs, it's it's slow going. It's gonna take like a week to get some of this stuff down. Because um, I'm assuming you're trying to collect it. You're not really trying to. Yep, trying to collect it. It's like trying to hack through wood. It's some okay. of the. There we go. Bits of this stuff, and uh, it's super sticky, and people keep on getting stuck inside the film web. Um, yes, you should have just hit four. If you guys take a long rest. Yeah. I was just using, yeah, two, two, two of my three die to heal up. Hey, Becca actually w rolled well on the HP chart. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I was going to do an investigation and survival roll as well, even though I don't want to touch any of it. You have disadvantage on both of them because you don't want to touch it. I want nothing to do with it. So, 13? Um, you don't really see anything for investigation-wise. Um, it's a little hard to, like, investigate things while you're, like, take, keeping your distance. I imagine I'm using like, the tip of my scimitar to just, like, poke at it. Okay, yeah. and then this is survival. Oh, I, w I don't... What the... <laughs> Damn disadvantage. Um, so you and right. your followers are actually kind of in the way of like helping. <laughs> in uh, our in our efforts to help, but yeah. to get near it, we're just kind of blocking it. All yeah, right. you're you're blocking people actually doing their job. <laughs> Sorry guys, let's move aside. Take a rest. 
cool, you're cool. supervising you know, right now. I am. I'm supervising. I'm. Uh, I'm standing watch over the spider I punched unconscious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which um, I, I will say we'll, we'll move on to that. So this, so in eight hours, the spider will regain one HP. Mm -hmm. okay. That is okay because we are going to set up a cage for it closer to our main area, but not in it. But not in it. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um. Let's move back to the Malice map, and then we'll we'll, we'll talk about this cage. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody have proficiency in construction tools? Um, some of our followers do. Yeah. Okay, so somebody roll a 1d4, a 1d20, and add 4 to it, please. Okay. I'm assuming the, uh, uh, the, the weird... Fairy Carpenter is the one making this cage. Probably. Yeah. Probably. So do you want to... Well, he's probably supervising yeah. other people doing it, because... 24? Hey, beautifully constructed cage for this spider. Yes! As it wakes up, and it just looks really confused, because as far as you can tell from facial expression of a spider, it doesn't look happy. Um... Does anyone want to try to make an animal handling check on this thing? I would uh, like to. Can I try and intimidate it? If all that fails, I'll try to intimidate it. Nope. It really does not like you, Zashi. I'll try. <laughs> I want to. I want to fail too, but. Um. No, it seems actually interested in you, Storm. Now you're not entirely sure whether or not that's like it's friendly to you thing. or it wants to eat you. But it seems it seems calmer when you're around. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think I was proficient with masonry tools. But I also can't find that, so. <laughs> we'll oh, well. I, what do you guys want to do? Well, it probably takes a while to build a cage. Yeah, yeah. probably does. Um, and and I think we all just got really inspired to like learn things. <laughs> so you want to go take a long rest? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. So you can, we can level real quick. <laughs> so, so you guys can level real quick. I, we'll, we'll go ahead and call, because we only have half people here, we'll call a, a short session so you guys can all level. All right. Um, I, and then um, I will so um, let you guys turn in the uh, the contract for the, for the spider so that you were asked for. So I will give storyline XP of that's an, an additional 200 experience. Everybody in the group will get that. Like, the storyline experience is given to everybody. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, uh, and then the group as a whole, the contract is worth 600 gold. So. Yes. So that goes to the company, and then you guys can divvy up that however you want. Okay. 600 GP to the murder of crows. Do you remember... What other spells were available? What other scrolls were available for sale? Uh, they have currently changed. I will have to look it up. It changes. Okay. I have to roll on it every, every Okay. Week. Well, you should totally roll on that for next session, because I will totally want to go shop. Thank you for giving me the heads up. And I will let you know. All right. Um, should um, I... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask, since I found the brute section, um, it does say 1d4 for any melee weapon I'm proficient with, including unarmed strikes. Would you prefer I use the newer brute or the older brawler? Right, um, does it matter? Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Whatever one you were more comfortable with, I don't, I'm not okay. too worried about it, honestly. Okay. Just, so it's like if, now, if you would like to take in the new UAs that just came out yesterday, I would like to know about it. But the, that's the Martian Barbarian, and you didn't. And you didn't. But if anyone's going to be a walking spell of raging spell nuke, I would really, really, really like to know. I don't know if any of you have read the new Barbarian. It's funny. 
But <laughs> you are a huge danger to your own party because every time you rage, you explode. That's awesome. <laughs> I know, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> but we're maybe a little less squishy. <laughs> Well, no, like, you roll a d8 and a random magical spell ha effect happens, one of which is if you roll a 1, every creature within 30 feet of you takes 1d10 points of damage, and you gain and you gain the, the sum total of that damage in temporary hit points. Because it's like this necrotic wave. Problem is, is, you're in a party, so there's probably at least a few of your group within 30 feet of you. Because <laughs> it's not like creatures you designate, it's just in general creatures you just go yeah or like if you roll a two you shoot um random flumps like spectral flumps just shoot <laughs> off of you and explode i don't like that <laughs> just the just the imagery in my head is of, very of pulp. weird gel jellyfish just throwing yeah. Being thrown yeah. yeah that then also explode yeah yeah it's, it's a it's very weird class. And then the the monk class that has spectral arms, and all I could remember, and all I could think of is, is uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The Stand. I mean, I want to do that. I want to do that. Be a monk with spectral arms. Got like eight of them. Like, all yeah, they, they hover above you and they punch people for you. Yeah, that's why you don't I do love it. it. I, that's even better. So a weird. lazy monk. Yeah. You kind of walk around and your arms beat the shit out of people for you. <laughs> but there's anyone who's seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like that's that's what I imagined, or played the video random video game. <laughs> but yeah, that was, those are the only ones that I really need to know about because they have some weird mechanics. But. Oh, okay. So did Brutus hit four with that extra story XP? No, unfortunately not. I'm still uh, 425 away. Closer. Yeah, we'll get that. It'll take a couple of sessions. Yeah, I'm you just, just need to stomp them. some spiders. Or... Yeah, from now on, let's just fight spiders. Like, all <laughs> the clearly finding traps with my war hammer and squashing spiders is my legacy <laughs> and throwing people just and not throw thrike green yeah just not like thrike green pass how how many 20s did you roll today <laughs> oh, no. it was, like oh, seven. It was, it was crazy <laughs> <laughs> i did roll like three or four crits but they were like or misses i mean but they were in the damage so it wasn't, it wasn't quite as bad but <laughs> yes I'll take it. I'm very happy.